in this illustration, we intend to simulate the hysteresis analysis of the steel shear wall with RBS beam in the Abacus software. As you observe in this picture, the shear wall is composed of two RBS beams, two columns, one plate, and a few stiffeners. In this example, a cyclic loading is applied to the upper beam, and then the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall will be drawn. In this picture, you can observe the final hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to simulate this article in the Abacus software. The article is entitled Special Perforated Steel Plate Shear Walls with Reduced Beam Section Anchor Beams. Here you can observe the geometric shape of the shear wall. In the next step, I'll enter another beam into the assembly section and OK. In the next step, I'll enter column into assembly section and rotate that 90 degrees about X axis. Click on Create Material. I intend to define the properties of plate. I will click on General menu, then on Density. The density is equal to 7.8 multiplied by 10 to the power of negative 9. Click on Mechanical menu, Elasticity and Elastic. Young modulus is equal to 210,000 megapascal, and the Poisson ratio is 0.3. In the next step, I will click on Mechanical menu, then on Plasticity and Plastic. As described in the article, the yield stress is equal to 165 megapascal and ultimate stress is equal to 305 megapascal. Here you can observe the curve of the stress strain of plate. I will click on Create Section. Here, select Shell Homogeneous and Continue. As explained in the article, the thickness of plate is equal to 2.6 millimeters, and this has been determined in the shape as well. I will click on Animate.
in the next step, we intend to draw the hysteresis diagram of the shear wall. Actually, we intend to draw this diagram. To do so, I'll click on Create XY Data, then ODB History Output and Continue. Here I will select all reaction forces. I will click on Save As. Here I will select Sum. And OK. Here I will select displacement directed at Z and click on Save. In the next step, I'll click on Create XY Data, Operate on XY Data and continue. Here I will select Combine. I'll select X-axis as displacement and Y-axis as reaction force. The hysteresis diagram has been drawn in this manner. In the next step, I will transfer this diagram to the Excel software. The first column is displacement, the unit of which is millimeter. The second column is force, the unit of which is Newton. Here the diagram drawn in red color is the diagram having been obtained from the Abacus software. As you observe the results gained from the Abacus software are concordant with those mentioned in the article and their results are identical. Actually we drew this diagram in the Abacus software which can be observed here. Since the results gained from the Abacus software are so close to those obtained from experimental results, they indicate that simulation has been made absolutely correct in the Abacus software.